Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, the weekend is almost here, and it's certainly a big one. The last weekend of the summer season, we've got the Big E, we've got the Guilford Fair, we've got the Berlin Fair, and the weather, Mother Nature, it's all going to cooperate. We're talking about brighter, warmer weather. Uh, but you know what? It has certainly been quite wet across Connecticut, so we're turning the page on that. So that's some good news as we look at the uh, situation here for the month of September to date for the Hartford area. Over five and a half inches, that is a surplus of over three inches. And if you go back all the way to the beginning of the year, including the liquid equivalent of anything frozen back from the winter months, uh, 44 inches just over that uh, in, in total for the Hartford area to date, a surplus of nearly one foot. So pretty incredible. So uh, tonight only some spotty sprinkles in parts of the state. We're zoomed in here south of Hartford, Berlin, Meriden along 691 near Middletown. Just a couple sprinkles, some light rain out there. Uh, and basically what we saw or experienced today is what's basically on tap for tomorrow as well. Primarily dry through the afternoon with maybe a couple of showers with temperatures near normal. Here in the 11 o'clock hour, we're between 65 and 70 inland, upper 60s, low 70s along the 95 corridor. You can see still a lot of cloud cover uh, looking live from Waterbury, 66 in the Brass City. Our view from New London, dry 68 north northeast wind at nine miles an hour. And you can see how we're really on the northern cusp of some cloud cover, all in association with some wet weather with a boundary that is stalled just offshore to our southeast and uh, also near that boundaries where temperatures are much warmer even here in the 11 o'clock hour well into the mid 70s through the mid Atlantic. So uh, we've got this boundary and as long as it's near southern New England, it's going to keep clouds around tomorrow with some intervals of sun and again that ongoing chance at least for a couple of showers. And we've got this area of low pressure as well off the coast of North Carolina. Uh, the National Hurricane Center is watching this and uh, it could eventually become a depression, maybe even our next tropical storm. But regardless of what it becomes, what name it will potentially have, it stays offshore, kind of staying just to the southeast of southern New England as we close out the week and head into the upcoming weekend. So as that pulls away, uh, conditions again will turn much brighter and then eventually also warmer through the weekend. So uh, overnight tonight forecasting lows between 60 and 65, warmest along the shoreline. Can't rule out some upper 50s early tomorrow morning in the usual cooler spots of northwest Connecticut. And then on future cast for our Friday, get a lot of clouds perhaps a couple of showers from time to time. So you may want to have that umbrella on hand by tomorrow evening. If you have plans to take you out and about, uh, we'll likely see some clearing as we head toward uh, sunset. Uh, that's now in the six o'clock hour. 656 uh, to be exact. All right, high temperatures tomorrow afternoon into the mid 70s. We go right in, on track for what's considered typical or average for this time of year. Going to be heading up to the big E mid 60s to start at nine o'clock in the morning by nine o'clock in the evening, uh, upper 60s peaking in the afternoon in the mid 70s. And the humidity will remain at muggy levels through tomorrow. Then over the second half of the weekend, it starts to come down as a cold front on Saturday approaches late in the day. Uh, can't rule out an isolated shower, but for the most part, many community Saturday Saturday will remain dry with a mix of sun and clouds. High Saturday, low 80s. Also same for Sunday, but less humid with drier air filtering behind that front. Mostly sunny, low 80s for Monday. The final days of the summer season, certainly feeling like late summer, low 80s through next Wednesday. The autumnal equinox Wednesday afternoon at 321. There's a chance for some rain and storms Wednesday night into early Thursday of next week with a cold front that will drop temperatures about 10 degrees by Thursday afternoon highs between 70 and 75. For shoreline highs this weekend, 80 Saturday, 82 and mostly sunny on Sunday. Alrighty, Mark, thank you very much. Well, here's